kid you are, how yeah, attractive. Yeah, we love that double we kiss. That's great. We would let you read our minds or other things, wouldn't we? Yes, absolutely. No, you don't want to be reading our minds. This <laughs> I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't say you was cute. So you're, you're a brave man. I just want to see the intro. You're a very brave man. Yeah. Thank you. Simon Baker is getting dangerously close to finding the serial killer who murdered his family. And in the sneak preview, he is convinced the killer's hiding in plain sight. Take a look. I brought you five together for a reason. Some of you may know that reason. Some of you may have guessed. But one of you here is Red John. Do you, do you know if it's going to get revealed? And don't even tell me it is you. Oh, what? Do okay, not... a, what do you that? know? What can you tell us? Well, okay, well, obviously, I can't tell you that it's me. You better <laughs> not. I'm not messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't even. Um, yes, it's yes. not me. Oh, and... okay, that's good. That's what good. else? Go on. Uh, yes, we are going to reveal who Reg is. Hey. Now that you're getting close, are you getting a little um, nostalgic about it? Well, I think the chase is part of the fun. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, uh, we've shot the episodes where I actually do find him and get him. So Who is it? I can't tell you. <laughs> uh, I can, but then I, I have, have to kill you. Yes, you uh, would. But, yeah, it's, um, it, I, it's, it was very nostalgic. Yeah. On your show, The Mentalist, it's so funny, you play a phony TV psychic um, who actually gets by because you use your powers of observation to, hand, you know, to solve the crimes. We're about uh, three episodes away. Oh, really? <laughs> Ooh, really good. Can you tell us? so much trouble. <laughs> yeah, you better, you're going to freaking... Oh, but I don't God. care. <laughs> you know? Do you think people, people watch for six why years? They care? deserve... Well, because... The, it's, you That's know, it's just about the audience. Yeah. No, no, no. no. The, okay. the audience has been invested in it for, for six years so far. And, uh, nice. and, and uh, you know, we've done a lot of teasing, a lot of vamping, a lot of flirting around the idea. It's you like... We have to. We have to. We six years. And, and we're very on. close. Yeah. Uh, what has it done for me? You know, it, it's given me confidence. I was... You know, a big weakness for me... Uh, for someone that always wanted to be an actor, sort of secretly when I was a kid. Yeah, I read you didn't even want to tell your family that you wanted to be an actor. Well, I, it was more than I didn't want to. I didn't. You didn't? No. Know. Because? No. Why? Well, it just was not... I didn't grow up in that sort of... I didn't grow up in a creative environment. Mm -hmm. Fall out. Depends how tired I am if there's too many Australians around the set. Oh, people come and visit every now and then. Um, I've also... The uh, two executive producers on the show are English. Oh, okay. Three, actually. So um, I've, I, I fall into that every now and then. Yeah, I, I, you know, I, as soon as I left Australia to work um, overseas, obviously I knew that I, I would have to adopt various accents. So it's hard at first. It's, it's just, um, you know, it's, 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 it's musculature of your mouth, to be honest. People, people speak in a different way in the soft palate and the hard palate and how they use their tongue. But voices that come from here or the nose, it's, you know, you work with a dialect coach, you learn all the science of it. Could you ever be over such an awesome character? Uh, I'm not over the character. I enjoy playing the character. It's a, it's a, it's a fun character to play. It's, uh, there's always different things that you can bring to it, so it never really gets boring, um, the playing of it. Uh, six years is a long time for a network television show, uh, particularly a show like ours, where we've, where we've sort of we've balanced this element of, of uh, procedural drama with serialised drama at the same time. Um, sometimes successfully, sometimes not so successfully, but we're still there and, and you know, network televisions at times are a very difficult slog because it's the, the, just the sheer... Uh, number of episodes that we have to produce a year. The, the whole background for the show is that the, my character has uh, made a living as a, as a psychic. Um, Not a real psychic. Well, he's fraudulent and, and one would argue that there are no such thing. There's no such thing as a real psychic. Um, but uh, he played himself off as real and made a, a living doing that. And in the course of doing that, he went on a television program, not dissimilar to this, and suggested that he knew who the identity of this serial killer uh, and gave sort of broad strokes of who this person was as a psychic. Um, 
and as a result, Red John murdered his wife and child. So he's been sort of seeking revenge ever since. Uh, the, the character is obviously full of um, self-hatred and wants to, in some way, find redemption. Is it hard to get yourself mentally into that dark place for this one aspect or facet of your character? Yeah, the difficult part is the, is the balance of um, some stories that we have, some episodes uh, that, that have, that they always have the takedown scene, which sometimes is quite sort of absurd. And to play some, some kind of light, absurd moment and then walk from that scene into a scene that is meant to be heartfelt and earnest, which is about pain and, 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 and sorrow, uh, that's the hard balance, that's the difficult balance. Um, yeah, it's not easy. I don't think people are craving the, the darkness of the drama. I think, I think people are craving uh, A, characters that they can, they can connect with, right? Um, I think people like the idea of procedure because it presents a, a story with a beginning, a middle and an end. So there's a resolution with every episode. Uh, and I, th I think people also crave that serialised nature of television because they, they, they prefer, they like the long form. Um, I don't think it's really about the subject matter, the darkness of it. You're either invested in the characters or you're not invested in the characters. It just so happens with my show, the, the, the central character is a sort of a tragic figure, but he's also an heroic figure because he's got a sense of humour. Uh, and that's what balances, the, balances it, the, like the light and the shade of the character. Television is interesting because you, you, get, you get a lot of practice because you, you're flying, you're hurtling along when you're doing television. And you get to grow because with a lot of seasons, you know, your character can grow. You, you get a lot of time, grow. like just sheer time in front of a camera. You know, I've done my, I've, I've, I've shot over 120, I think, episodes. Um, you know, Malcolm Gladwell theory, I've done at least, I've probably done nearly 20,000. I don't know, I can't speak for anyone else. I can only speak for me. But for me, um, so much of this show, of this show has, has, has been a part of, you know, a big part of me. Uh, I've contributed a lot to the character and I have a particular take on a lot of the stuff. So it was just really a natural progression. Uh, why? I don't know how it is for anyone else. I don't, I don't want it. I certainly don't want it for the power. I just want it because I, I, I enjoy doing it because when I read a script, I visualize it straight away. I can't, people will talk to me about we're sh shooting scene seven and it means nothing to me. If there's a number, just what happens in it? Oh, I, I, the story clicks in my head and I see the images. Even when I read a, you know, a film script, it's always been that way and I've had to stop myself from seeing the images to be directed by someone else. The second episode I directed was my favourite moment because uh, I just had a great time on it. I really enjoyed uh, the script, I really enjoyed the casting of it. I had, I had enough time to prepare, prep it and enough time to cut it. Um, I'm in the middle of cutting an episode that I directed now, and I have two days. To so edit, what to are edit you it. doing sitting with me here? Uh, I, we could have maybe exactly. brought it, we could have done a little editing while we're here. I, you know, exactly, what am I doing here? I think my most memorable memory from The Mentalist was from season one. Four more years after that, I was not able to outdo this. I had a stomach flu and I kept a Ziploc bag in my back pocket to vomit in because you can't be sick on a show. And there was a very sudden need to, to throw up and I couldn't get my bag there soon enough and I threw up on Simon. And I was really nervous about his reaction to it and he was actually nice. He was like, you know, I've got three kids and they threw up on me all the time, it, it, it's okay. But yeah, I threw up on Simon Baker. After five plus seasons together, you and your co-star Robin Tunney have become very close and I heard that she actually did something to you that only your children have done to you. Ooh. Yeah, she did actually. She she um, she's very good at this, and continuing on. She vomited on me. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, it was actually quite pleasant, and I feel closer to her because. Of it. 
Why did she bomb? She was sick at work, and she's an absolute. She's one of the great humans. Um, she's such a trooper. Her work ethic is incredible. Sometimes, you know, you work hard. Sometimes you're not feeling so great. You're at work, mm -hmm. and I was mid conversation with her one day, and she's going to hate me for telling <laughs> this, but it was incredibly charming. I've never seen anyone do it where she was chatting in mid sentence, she threw up, and I had to. It was like the Matrix. Oh. <laughs> Going, I'm so sorry. Anyway, no. <laughs> she, she the finished the conversation. I mean, I throw up. It's good night. <laughs> it's, it's, it's for me. I gotta go have a little lie down. Simon, thank you so much for joining us. Yes, yeah, real pleasure. It has been an absolute pleasure.